Hello everyone, I just want to share with you my latest batch of eco dyed papers. Um, I've just had so much fun with this and I think by tweaking the ingredients that I've used I've got it now to um, an absolute T. Um, these are some of the ones that I've done on a mixture of mixed media paper and watercolour paper um, and they've all come out really really well. I'm getting much more consistent um, prints now that I have tweaked my ingredients. I'll tell you what I've done in a second so let me just flick through some of these um, you know they're just beautiful really clear impressions I'm getting now just look at these fuchsias they're just absolutely gorgeous um, love 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 these and I'm getting much much better colour retention um, than the first couple of batches I did as well so that's those um, now what I did with these to get this depth of, of colour I added four tablespoons of alum and four tablespoons of vinegar to my pot I also added pink peppercorns just a handful of pink peppercorns some dried hibiscus leaves and also some juniper berries um, but I also sprayed the front and back of the mixed media and watercolour paper with a alum spray um, so I mixed up a tablespoon of alum in a litre of um, hot water um, just to dissolve it, poured it into a spray bottle and sprayed both sides of my paper. Then I stacked my foliage in exactly the same way and I am certain that this has helped to retain the colour. I mean the colours on these are just incredibly vibrant. Where are the, the fuchsias I think sort of you know the best um, tell of these. Just look at the colour, the depth of colour in these. Um, so that was just an, an alum spray sprayed onto both sides of the papers. Now I also wanted to test it on regular copier paper as well just to see what would happen. Let me just check that I'm in frame. And these have come out beautifully. Now I didn't spray the papers with the alum spray for these. I just added them to the pot with the four tablespoons of alum and four tablespoons of vinegar. Um, but these have just turned out absolutely beautifully. The only problem is with copier paper I've found is that it's very, very fragile and most of my pages have torn in half um, which is fine you know that really really doesn't bother me because I've been photocopying these and I'll show you what I've been up to in a second but let me just flick flick through them so that you can see the level of detail that I've achieved as I say just on regular copy of paper just absolutely amazing now I've say, seen some people posting pictures on copy of paper on um, Instagram and they seem to have kept theirs fully intact and I'm intrigued I did ask one lady a question as to how she was doing it but she hasn't um, replied um, whereas literally all of mine have torn and fallen apart but you know even if I only use the for collage that's fine it really really doesn't bother me let me just um flick through these really quickly look at that one just look at the colors they're just gorgeous i just love these i am fascinated by the whole of this process this really is sort of a new thing for me um and i'm going to try and get some um, another boil in before the leaves are completely gone for this season as well because i want to try it again on copier paper but yeah, this is what I've ended ended up with. So there we go. Um, but as I say, I've been having a play with the photocopier. Let me just put these to one side and I'll grab them. Um, so I've just used my home copier and I've just got an inkjet printer and I've put this on the lowest density setting. Now my printer started to play up, it started to jam and it's now run out of ink as well. So I was trying to get these double sided so that I could use them as journal pages um, but I had to give up because as I say my printer has decided to die on me and I've had to order yet more printer ink. I seem to be getting through printer ink. Um, at um, a rapid rate at the, at the moment but just look how beautiful they've turned out they're, they're gorgeous um, so if you do boil your pages definitely worth scanning them so that you can copy them first just look look at that um, 
and I quite like having smooth flat pages to work with as well so that's those now it will come as no surprise um, to you that I have also been off to my local printers um, let me just show you what I've got here in fact I'll show you that one in a second I've had um, some of my paper printed um, onto my 400 GSM cardstock that they print out for me and they've turned out absolutely beautiful I just love these and my printer did tell me um, what this paper is called because I know that um, a lot of you have been asking me what it is bear with me it is called um, color copy spelt the American way c-o-l-o-r color copy that's the brand and it's s-r-a-3 and this is 400 gsm um, cardstock and it's got sort of like a smooth satin finish it's just beautiful um, and apparently it's sort of you know very good at colour retention um, well you can see that it is here but um, I've had these printed on both sides here we go a couple of copies of that one there this one here that one um, just so that I can have a play um, and see what I can make with them. I've also had one blown up onto a three size as well, which is I think 17 by 11 and three quarters or something like, like that, um, a three in English money. These are all sliding off and flying around all over the place. Um, so that's that one there. And again, let me just show you um, the detail, just absolutely beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one here. This one is double sided, um, but let me show what I've been making so far this is what I've made so far um, let me just put these notebooks to one side for a second um, I wanted to have a go at making some of my concertina file folders because I just love these for you know giveaways and um, happy mail and that kind of thing so there's two different designs of those I know that most of you will have seen the tutorial of how to make these let me just open them up that's what they look like so they're just regular envelopes inside this one's got um, a brad closure just a brass brad they've both got garden twine um, and this one here has got a eyelet a, a brass eyelet for a closure so that's what that one looks like um, so just two different designs of paper and this is the paper that I've had photocopied um, I've also made a couple of notebooks as well now this notebook is the same as the ones that I did with duct tape that um, most of you will have have seen um, and again I'll leave the tutorial showing how to make these in the description box below instead of using duct tape for the binding I've used linen fabric it's the same fabric that I used for for the postcards I made a couple of weeks ago so I just cut a strip and then I used the red score tape hang on let me see if I can find some here it is bear with me so I just used the red double-sided score tape just to attach my binding as well so three strips I think I used um, and then attached um, the binding in exactly the same way left a gap in the middle just so I don't know whether you can see see that there as I say it sort of explains it really qu um, clearly in the tutorial for this which I'll leave in the description box below so I've just made three signatures just so that you can see the gorgeous gorgeous prints so that's what they look like um, and then the pages are just beautiful cream writing paper really nice quality writing paper um, and if I can see the pad of the writing paper I'll show you what it is I use the Verge de France um, G Lalo writing paper which is just beautiful writing paper um, and there's just three signatures inside that tied with linen linen thread um, and then just um, a notepad a slightly larger notepad just one signature this time tied with the same linen thread um, and again the pages of that same beautiful Verge de France writing paper um, and again just another one of my double-sided prints so here we go this kind of thing this is what um, I've used and I've just folded it in half obviously trimmed um, the edges away and that's how I've done it rounded the corners as well because I just like the way that that looks um, and that's how I've made it and I just think you know for gifts for Christmas you know let's face it we've got Christmas in three months time can you believe I think these would make 
make beautiful Christmas gifts. Now I want to include this little bundle here in this month's giveaway. I'm running late with my giveaway again um, and so I sat down yesterday, made a few bits and pieces because you know I like to have um, things with a theme. So this is this month's prize. So one of the little notebooks, um, the file folder and then a bundle of papers for you to have a play with, make journals, frame, do as you wish. So let me just flick through the prints. So these ones here, I just think these are gorgeous. I'm having a hard time parting with anything because they're just so, so lovely. And then some of the ones on cartridge paper as well. And you can photocopy these or scan these if you want to as well. These would make beautiful journals, um, either you know by scanning the images or using them as they are. And of course you can pad the pages out as well with tea or coffee stained pages. Um, so you know that's what's been included. Just look at the colours on these, aren't they gorgeous? So that is this month's um, prize package. Let me just put that like like that. Now I've um, created seven um, videos this month. So I put seven into random.org and the winner is being picked from video number six this month, which is the eco dyeing video. 70 people commented on the video. And again, I put that into random.org. And the winner this month is commenter number 57, who is Laura Murphy. So congratulations, Laura. Laura, I know you've been following me for a very, very long time. So congratulations there. If you can send me a message, a private message, message via Facebook preferably um, with your address details then I'll get this bundle sent off to you as soon as possible um, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I've been using my eco prints I'll be back with more ideas as well I've got lots more ideas what um, I'm lacking at the moment is time um, to, to do things um, but I will you know share more ideas with you as I come up with um, you know plans um, but if you enjoyed it as always I would really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.